Got him. Oh, oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm with my friend Justin. You guys saw him in the last couple of videos. It's gonna be fun. Me and this goose are gonna catch some good fish today. What do you think, buddy? Gonna catch some fish? All right, yeah, he said yeah, so. Now we're at this body water. We've been to before. It's in the back of this like RV home type area. It's a small pond, but it has big fish in it. Hey, we got live bait, we got artificial bait. Looking forward to it. We got, I got a bunch of rods. I got four here, I got two more in the car. It's a bit windy out here. It's a bit chilly out here, but um, me and Justin are gonna set up some, some rods with some live bait in it, cast around. It's gonna be awesome, so you guys stay tuned. I hope you guys are gonna enjoy this one. I hope we can get, get on some fish as well. The sun's out, so that feels kinda nice, and yeah, I'm gonna set these rods up. I'll show you guys what I'm doing, and uh, let's catch some fish. Got him. Nice. <laughs> Bro. First fish of the day. Dude, that's a nice fish too, dude. But I just threw this white Mr. Twister with a pink jig head. Dude, that's a beauty. We've been here for five minutes, bro. Told you this place is bomb. Sorry, the GoPro is swinging Ooh. around. First fish of the day right there. Dude, that's a pig too. I have, the, I have exact rub in my car. I'm gonna have to go back and grab that. Pink jig head, white Mr. Twister. I've been nailing them at my other neighborhood ponds with that. Decided to try it here. Here we are. That's a beauty, man. Beauty. Good. That's awesome, bro. Right by the money drain. And there she goes. Good work. Nice job, dude. We're here for five, not even five minutes. Didn't set anything up and Justin already hooked up on a big one. Go fish. Yeah, I want to do a light cast because I don't know why that happened. Oh, God. <laughs> not it up again. It just flew out of my hands. Look, it's getting stuck. It just pitched it, but it got it got stuck right here. I tried to get away from you, bro. Um, I had a knot in my, my, my bait caster and then I just tried to pitch this very lightly. With one hand, I wasn't even like, I was barely holding on to it. it. It got knotted again. The rod just fell out of my hand. You got one? Yeah. Oh. Dude, I'm getting that jig right now. Oh, shoot. Justin just hit a McDo's, got himself a nice straw, and uh, we brought one bobber because we didn't think we'd be using any today. But he's going to show us how uh, a DIY uh, a bobber, right? With a straw? Yeah, DIY straw. McDonald's straw. Make sure there's a little bit of Dr. Pepper in that. Yeah, the bass like that, right? Yeah, they like it. <laughs> you know. Slice off a nice, nice oh, piece. Right on. Oh, maybe just a little slit in there. Okay. And then I get in that line, and the slit will, you know, prevent prevent it's sliding. It from sliding out. Oh, sweet! And that's gonna float, bro. I'm thinking so. <laughs> you just tie it. Loop it around a couple times. Double loop it. There we go. And that's I'm that's it. That's gonna that's work. That's the finished rig. Let's <laughs> let's throw this in the water and test this out. That's awesome. We're just showing like the was this power bait, power bait grubs, um, into the straw. And I'm thinking the power bait might actually. Give it a little bit of buoyancy. We're gonna put a nice shiner on here and not paralyze them this time. And uh, let's see, we'll see if this works. See, that wasn't far at all. No way. It's floating, bro. It's floating so much better. That's floating, that's like, that's not even sinking, bro. That's just staying afloat. You think I should keep it there? Yeah. Okay. That looks awesome, guys. It's it's actually floating this time. Like, it's not even sinking. Okay, sword. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> bass on him. You guys, the bass just came up and just nailed him. Got him. Oh, it's a big crappie. Big crappie. Big crappie, bro. Get him. Get him in. Yo, that's a beauty. I told you, bro. I told you it's a big crappie right now. Guys, look at that thing. Show Justin's camera. That thing's a tank. DIY straw, guys. Let's... Look at that straw. Yeah. That straw right look at, where is it? Where is it? Right there? Yeah, we oh, just my made gosh. That thing that's awesome, dude. Bobber. We'll get a quick picture with them, and then we'll, we'll put them back. Guys, here it is. On Justin's straw. Cut half this thing off. We put some power bait. So far, everybody grubs to fill up the sides of this thing. I'm gonna see it right there. It's filled on both sides. Put a shiner on there, and this crappie's just inhaled it. We saw the middle tweaking, and we we're like, dang, he's going, he's going nuts. Let me see if I can uh, get him out of there. So right there, that's my biggest crappie of the year so far, and uh, that's a beautiful one. We're gonna, we'll bring her on down and get a nice release. Nice release in the sunlight here. Oh god. <laughs> And that's as elegant as elegant as it gets. <laughs> that's about how mine was that's too. That's <laughs> how elegant as it gets. Awesome, man. Thanks. It's so funny that I was like, "Hey, I want a bobber," and Jen's like, "Yeah, a straw might work." And I was like, "What? I mean, what do you mean a straw might work? The heck? It's got holes all all over throughout it." Put it on. It didn't work at first, and then we we put the power bait in it, and the big. I thought it was a small bass. 
but I'm glad that was a big crappie. That was hilarious. Just completely smoked that shiner. I actually caught a big crappie when I was gone. Um, had some stomach problems. We had to use a restroom or somewhere. Just gonna keep throwing some live bait and some artificial stuff on the side and uh, these geese would shut up. Just gonna catch some more fish. I'm gonna put you guys down. Let's do it. I'm, I'm pumped now. It's my first fish of the day. Got him? Oh, oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good fish, bro. That's a nice one. That's, that's, the, that's the ones we were looking for. No, that's the size we were looking for, man. That's a big one. Just be careful with them. Just... That's actually quite hard, bro. Yeah, they do, bro. They're actually quite impressed right When now. they're that big. How big is this? That's a big fish, bro. I don't know my bass sizes. That's like a four or five. Put this camera down. I'll land him. Oh, that's big, dude. They're gonna be nice and slow. Oh, that's a tank. We got her. You hooked her in the eye. How did that happen? Dude, this thing is huge. Is it actually? Dude, that's like a nice. That's like a five. Let's that's get a the scale. On that's it. like a five. Do you have your scale? Yeah, I got the scale in the car. Dude, check out this fish. This thing's saying four. That's saying what? Four. Four? All right. It's close, close enough, right? Yeah. Close enough. I mean, that, look at the gut on that thing, too. You want to yeah, obviously we'll get we'll get some pictures for Justin and uh, yeah. we'll put that big girl back. That's a nice healthy fish, dude. One of the best you're gonna get out of here for sure. All right, let's get this big girl back. Four pounds, so it's a really nice one. Nice, nice belly. Hopefully, this is my grace for the new casting. Yeah, right. Oh yeah. And she's off. That's a beautiful fish, man. Here's right. your GoPro. Put it here. Boom! That's a stud. That's a great fish by Justin. And I'm actually getting my live bait poles over there. I'm gonna bring it back over here because this this probably didn't get anything for a little bit, but uh, fish call, bro. yeah, the fish call works. Justin does this cool little fish call. It goes like bloop bloop, and it worked. The second he did it, he caught a fish. So we're gonna move this on over here. Great fish. Oh, is there a man? Is there a fish in here? Why is mine going nuts? Yeah, you got one. Oh, I have one. <laughs> oh, <is laughs> oh no! no. Oh. I didn't even know I had one, bro. I was like, why is my middle going crazy? Dang. I didn't even notice my. Dang it. That was a big crappie too. I didn't even notice, I was just dipping it in the water, watching him swim, and I started talking to Justin, and the crappie just took it. Like, what the heck? I didn't even notice it, darn it. All right guys, that's gonna do it for today. Me and Justin came out here and uh, really really didn't know what to expect, and we did okay. I mean, Justin caught a decent amount of fish. He caught like a few small ones on like a little Mr. Twister uh, grub, and he caught a really nice bass actually on the on a live shiner. Really big crappie that I did not see. I was I was gone at the time. And then the bass in the beginning, the, the bass in the beginning, the Mr. Twister, I only caught a crappie on a DIY McDonald's straw, and then I lost one. Um, so not the best day for me, but you know, it's it's nice to get out here. It's really cold right now. Uh, temperatures are dropping and uh, sun's going down. But it, it definitely nothing beats coming out here and at least getting a few bites. If you guys did enjoy that video, um, maybe I didn't catch too much, but you know that happens sometimes in fishing. If you guys are new here, be sure to check out Justin's channel. I'll link that down below for sure. You know, we were catching carp last last video and we were doing a bunch of stuff. He's got a bunch of good content on there. So be sure to check him out. What do you think about that? Sounds good to me. Sounds good. If you guys are new to my channel, of course, hit that thumbs up, click that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell. So the second I post videos, you'll get notified. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. We'll catch you in the next episode. Peace out.